And since ancient times, plants and trees that remained green all year had a special meaning for people, especially in the winter. Green as a color represents renewal, new life, freshness, and rebirth. And plants such as pine, fir, holly, ivy, and mistletoe are called evergreens because, as we know, all through the seasons they remain ever green, ever alive. And for us, they symbolize the unchanging nature of our God, and they remind us of the everlasting life that is ours through our Lord God. Uh, we do find the evergreens mentioned in Scripture. In Isaiah 60, verse 13, we find these words. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto you, the fir tree, the pine tree, to beautify the place of your sanctuary. So let us begin beautifying our sanctuary and bringing home Christmas with the placing of the evergreens on the altar.
okay. Um, when wrong, this was one you picked out. Can you put this on the tree? And this, now this one is Cameron's, okay? So we're going to put Cameron's on for her. In England, I need you to come over here and pick out, this is a lot of choices, pick out just one. Can you find one that you like? Can go ahead and put yours on the tree. Very pretty, okay. Here, you what? Can you hang it? How about I hold your side? Okay. Here. You go hang this, okay? It's Allison? Yes. Logan. Yes, is Logan here? He's sick today. Oh, I was wondering. Okay. Let's oh, should we wait for Logan? How about maybe next week Logan can, can pick one out? Yeah, Roy do it. Or Roy could do it. It's up to you.
saying together with me our faith, our Adirondacks. Flower that so well represents a season of Christmas for us. We see it, the poinsettia, and we think of Christmas. At least I know I do. Uh, the poinsettia is native to Mexico. Some of you may remember this. Uh, the plant was named after Dr. Joel Roberts Poinsett, who introduced it to America in 1828 after discovering it in the wilderness in southern Mexico. And he sent cutting of it, cuttings of it back to South Carolina. And over the years, it was sort of embraced and became part of a Christmas tradition. And in fact, National Poinsettia Day is celebrated on December 12th, honoring the plant and uh, the man who brought it to America. So we'll see if we remember that on December 12th. And um, it has been seen as a symbol of the star of Bethlehem that brought the, the wise men to Jesus. And they call it the flower of the holy night. Uh, we had a Christmas play about the poinsettia one time. Some of you might remember. There's the legend of a girl, a Mexican legend, of a girl who could only offer weeds as a gift to Jesus on Christmas Eve. And when she brought the weeds into the church, they blossomed into beautiful red plants, we know, and they call them flowers of the holy night. So at this time, I'd like to invite... Anyone who brought poinsettia, or if you see one back there you want to help, to bring it and just decorate the sanctuary, and you can place it wherever you feel is a good place. So you can do that at this time. circle of light. I love that image, a continuous circle of light. 
In the Middle Ages, uh, the Christians adapted this tradition and used Advent wreaths as part of the spiritual preparation for Christmas. And after all, Christ is the light that came into the world. Um, the purple candles are a sign of loyalty, and the pink is a reminder of joy. We light that pink one on the third Sunday. So we'll start with our first candle, which is a symbol of hope. And we have a reading for that. And this is um, a reading from uh, Richard Moore, and it's just slightly adapted for today. So from Matthew 24, 42. Keep awake, therefore you do not know, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. Come Lord Jesus, an Advent mantra means that all of Christian history has to live out a kind of deliberate emptiness, a kind of chosen non-fulfillment. Perfect fullness is always to come, and we do not need to, de to demand it now. This keeps the field of life wide open and especially open to grace and to the future created by God rather than ourselves. This is exactly what it means to be awake, as the gospel urges us. We can also use other A words for Advent. Aware, alive, attentive, alert, awake are all appropriate. Advent is, above all else, a call to a full, to a full consciousness. When we demand any completion to history on our terms, when we demand that our anxiety or any dissatisfaction be taken away, saying, as it were, why weren't, why weren't you this for me? Why didn't life do that for me? We are refusing to say, come, Lord Jesus. We are refusing to hold out for the full picture that is always given by God. Come, Lord Jesus, is a leap into a kind of freedom and surrender that is rightly called the virtue of hope. Hope is the patient and trustful willingness to live without closure, without resolution, and to be still content and even happy because we look to a source beyond ourselves. For reflection, what expectations and demands of life can you let go of so that you can be more prepared for the coming of Jesus? This is adapted from Richard Rohr. created the first living nativity in 1224 to help explain the birth of Jesus to his followers. The nativity speaks of God's wisdom. We can see that God reached out to all people, including the poor and the wealthy, the simple and the wise, the powerless and the powerful, and all who found him knelt at his bed. Whenever we see the nativity, we can find ourselves with Mary and Joseph and the other figures. Um, today we will be displaying our nativity. Um, it's interesting that there's always the black sheep along with it. Did you? It is back there. You found it. Yes. Um, which is always an interesting piece of it. And it's a reminder, I think, a, a good reminder that we have sort of have a humble acknowledgement that none of us is pure and innocent and perfect, and we can own that and bring that with us to God to help us with that. So this morning what I'd like for you to do is to gather at the back, and everyone can pick one figure of the nativity and then put it on the back table, and all together we'll have a hand in creating this scene for our Advent season. <coughs> 